Well, here it is. Carl Nakamura, the pride of U.S. chess, has now made it to number two in the world. Us in the United States are real proud of him. Uh, I know he doesn't really think much about the ratings going up and down, but I can't even remember. Maybe somebody can post in the comments the last time an American was number two in the world. So Carl Nakamura reaches number two and over 2,800. Real proud of you, Carl. Keep going. Go, Carl. Hi, folks. John Cordisco back again. Round three of my favorite tournament, the U.S. Championship. Big match up here between Ngata Kamsky, current U.S. champion, and Carl Nakamura, number two rated player in the world. You probably known from the name of the video Nakamura Miscues. It's not what you think, though. Uh, there's going to be a short post-mortem, so to speak, small interview with Gatakamski at the end. But don't let any of that indicate who won the game. I'm not going to say. It seems like a Carl lost, but you're going to have to find out. Kamsky's white, Nakamura is black. Let's get to it a little bit. Kind of a London system set up, so to speak. Knight, bishop d6, bishop g3, castles, bishop, b6. Now, according to the computer, that's the last book move. Now, there's different lines. I'm sure there's book. But if, as far as the main line goes, that's the last move. e4. Kamsky wants to open it up. Of course, Carl wants no part of that. e5. Knight h5. That knight wasn't any real problem anyway because that bishop really can't go anywhere. Castles. Bishop d7. As you can see, this bishop can't escape, at least for now. Rook d1. Rook c8 by Nakamura. And a3 by Kamsky. I got the computer off screen. Two-thirds of a pawn advantage for black. It's even. Knight takes. H-pawn takes. F5. Bold move there. And that's also the computer's move. Now, the next... Three moves by the computer off pretty close in score. F5, F6, and A5. A Carl goes with F5. But D takes. It isn't taking passant. Now, computer likes E takes F6, B4, or rook to C1. Got to decided to take there. And I think it's not an inaccuracy, but... Those two pawns in the C and D file look pretty strong for Carl. Not as good would have been Bishop takes. And after B4, Bishop B7, C4. And White's recovered dramatically. B4 by Kamsky. G5. Bold move there. Computer likes H6. Rook B8. Queen C7. I like that bold move by a Carl. That means he's going for it. Computer likes c4. But he went knight to h2. And I don't think that's really accurate. I think what he was afraid of was, of course, pawn. He goes knight here. You know, bishop takes. And then queen takes. But he could have gone back. To here and reroute of the knight, I think, might have been interesting as well. But he decided to go knight to h2. d4. I don't think Kamsky played... He didn't He didn't blunder anything. It's just a few small miscues that slowly add up over time. This is a fairly long game, so I'm going to speed it up a little bit. b5, chasing the knight. He takes first. Weird exchange here. Rook e2. Rook takes. Excuse me. Bishop takes. And now rook takes. Black's up a pawn. And it's a password on the C file. And Carl's up a point and a quarter now. And I think he's in really good shape. Bishop d5. G4. C4. I mean, Carl's just turning the screws. Bishop c2, 
F4, here it comes. Queen E2. Slowly, Kamsky's getting back down. Queen A5. Knight. Rook. Rook comes back. I mean, Kamsky's just trying to hold it together. Rook D7. A4. Rook F D8. Slowly, Carl is just turning the screws. Rook A B1. A6. Rook D. He's just shuffling pieces now. Nothing much he can do. Bishop A3. Kamsky moves the rook. H6. King H2. Scores starting to climb a little bit. It's getting towards a two-point advantage now for black. Bishop F8. Rook. Queen. And this is where Kamsky miscues. Bishop E4 is the computer suggestion. He goes King to G1. And it climbs now. Climbs dramatically. Computer really likes Bishop takes F3. And after Queen takes, Rook to D2. And White's in a crap load of trouble. Carl goes Queen to C6 instead. I do have to say, though, Carl was starting to get low on time around move 33. Which is very unlike Nakamura. He's very much like Carlson. You very rarely see him in bad time trouble. Rook to D1. Bishop G7. Knight to D4. Queen has to move. Knight goes back to F3. I mean, Kamsky's just shuffling. There's nothing else he can do. He's stuck. Rook B8. Rook takes. Queen takes. Bishop B4. Queen C8. He's letting Kamsky off the hook a little bit. And there's no way. Bishop C2. There's no way he's going to take that bishop because after the e-pawn takes, his pawns will be connected and it's really, really doomed. After bishop c2, queen, knight to d4, knight c, excuse me, queen c7, knight goes back, he's just shuffling. Bishop, rook, bishop c2, it's an almost two point advantage now for Nakamura. He's just got to play this slow and slowly turn the screws. a5, rook, queen, here we go, queen. Queen A8, Queen E2, Rook B4, that's a damn good spot for that Rook, nothing can chase him off, Rook D1, Queen C6, Knight, Queen goes back, Rook E1, just shuffling, I'm looking at pieces for the last 15 moves, basically the same, except for the exchange of Rooks, for White, Queen Finally, Rook D1. So as you go, Bishop F8, he wants to get the Bishop back in the game. Be honest with you, Rook to B2, the computer liked a lot, and I agree. Bishop, Knight. Bishop takes. Rook to D8. Bishop H1. Queen F1, guarding the mate. We all see that, of course. It'd be mate here. Rook to B2. Knight to D6. Queen to D5. Knight to F7. Kamsky sees. Maybe some counterplay. Right now, it is a three-point advantage for Carl Nakamura. He wins this. He's three games in all the first three rounds of the U.S. Championship. And this is where Carl miscues. Miscues fairly badly. The move is queen to c5. Queen to c5, queen to c6, basically the same. And the game is over. Absolutely over. He decides to bail and plays rook takes. Rook takes. Bishop takes. If he's getting two minor pieces and two pawns, he should be okay. 
Right now it's dead even on score. Let's go back here. If he had gone queen to c5, king takes, king takes, and it's over. The attack is over. The white queen cannot get in. It's just over. And he missed it. After rook takes, bishop takes, queen to b1, takes, takes, king to g7. He basically sets up a fortress. Bishop b4, queen to d4. It's basically dead even. And that's where got a Kamsky current U.S. champion and Carl Nakamura, number two rated player in the world, agree to a draw. What a heartbreaker for Carl. I know he left the playing hall, probably went back to his hotel room. He was really upset. Frankly, I can't blame him. And everybody thinks he's arrogant, and he's not. When he's mad and acts like that, he's not mad at the people around him. He's not mad at God in this case. He's not mad at anybody else but himself. And as we all know, one of our people we judge the harshest are ourselves. So he's going to have to get through it tonight, and I'm sure he will. He plays Wesley So tomorrow, his new American challenger. Anyway, folks, it's a heartbreaker for me as a Carl fan, but I feel really bad for Carl. What a shame. Anyway, folks, as I always say, if you think chess is just a game, you're not playing it right. Take care, folks. Bye-bye. With someone who's no stranger to the championships uh, and knowing how to win these is a current reigning champion, Gadakomsky. Gada, welcome to the show. Thank you. This game was nuts. I mean, we thought you were in trouble from the get-go, and this result just seemed like a big shock. How were you feeling as the game was in progress, uh, particularly from the opening? Well, I didn't expect E6. You know, I thought he was going to go for a King, King's Indian type of position. I prepared for that. And uh, that was my game against Karpov in the World Team Championship. I prepared an improvement. But during the game, I forgot. And um, after F5, of course, black is, uh, seemed to be completely OK. And, um, and then I was just outplayed. Uh, he had a uh, completely winning position. In the last 20 moves, I was just shuffling this around, like waiting, you know, like when he's going to finish me off. <laughs> and then uh, he let me play knight b5, and then, you know, some activity, and I saw that he wasn't really happy about that. At the end, we have this position, and, um, you know, I was really proud when I saw knight of seven. Knight of seven was a, was a shocking move. Yes. Uh, apparently, he still had a winning opportunity here. Were you shocked when he gave you his queen? No, I was actually, uh, I calculated that he had to give me the queen, and I thought he, if he plays queen f3, the knight h6 check. King well, just let's take a look at that line. Let's go to the big board. Queen, do we have the, the image there? Queen f3. You knight, thought? knight h6 check, king g7. And, Hold uh, on, let me keep up with you. King and g7. rook g7. I saw that, and I was really happy because I thought, you know. He can't take your knight, of course. Yes, because of the mate. Because of a mate, absolutely. And, and I think he saw that as well, and uh, that's why we thought, you know, you have to give up the queen. So, um, but of course, queen c6, as you mentioned, is completely winning. Queen c6 guards the d7 square. Exactly. And so now it no longer works because there's no rook d7 right. check. And everything is hanging, and black just, you know, easily wins here. Yes, but uh, the, the, the whole thing is like after he gave the queen, it wasn't exactly like really clear how to play also. So rook c2, rook d5, bishop d5, queen b1. I was really happy when I had this move. Because of the rook moves and queen g6, of course. And uh, oh, hold on, hold on. Let, let everybody keep up with you. And uh, at this time, he was like uh, really unhappy, and he started to shake his head. And uh, so he had to take. Your, he, he decided to right, take. Right, but do you know why he didn't play bishop e4? Because there was a bishop e4 move. So queen b1, bishop e4. Right, and if f3, then rook g2 check. So you know, so 90. Right, so hold on, hold on. You know, let's keep. Let the fans see what you're seeing. And, and, and black's and completely queen. winning. So, um, so instead of doing bishop e4, what was so your plan? Knight g6 is the only move. <coughs> wow. So basically, black, if, if somehow black gets uh, c3, rook b2, c2, and you know, my king is wide open. But after knight d6, I was uh, comfortable in the black place bishop g6 because of bishop d3, then uh, queen b7, the knight f5, and I was really happy about that. Wow, what a move. Cool. We saw a move like this happen in the game with Onishuk where he put a knight on a square. Defended by a pawn. Right, and, and, and then I, I just uh, calmed down because I thought I can't lose this position. So, you know, 
And when he took on d5, just gave me his queen to build a fortress, I, I realized, you know, that it was... You were safe. Uh, you made it. <laughs> another miracle happened. So. <laughs> <laughs> a, miracle, a miracle in St. Louis. We have it in 34th Street in, in New York, but in St. Louis, another miracle. So you're sitting at one and a half. I mean, this was really tough. You could have lost this. A lot of players have been talking about, or even the fans have been talking about, the number one, numbers one and two in the tournament, uh, Nakamura and now Wesley So. You almost seem like the forgotten man in this championship, like somebody who knows how to win this tournament. What are your thoughts uh, about that? Well, I didn't prepare for this tournament much, you know, because uh, there was some lot of things going on. And uh, judging though, by the way I played the first uh, two games, I wasn't really confident, you know, because I, I didn't play well. You know, there, there were some opportunities, of course, and I, I was making terrible mistakes. Yeah, but, you know, it's nice to come back to the, such level of the tournament because everybody is really accurate and plays strong. I mean, you, you saw the blunders, of course, but those happen like at the end mostly. Like uh, when you had this whole uh, intense uh, work during the middle game and opening, so people get tired and they make mistakes, uh, of course. But still, you know, everybody plays really well, and um, you know, I'm, I'm happy because I feel like I'm getting back into my form. And uh, so far, Lady Luck is smiling, <laughs> which is always good. <laughs> always. Yes, and um, maybe, maybe I can start playing something finally. Wow, all right. It's great to see you optimistic, and we look forward to the rest of your games. Good luck in the rest of the championships. Thank you. Grand